Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Gravity Fitness. Your best body weight class. Um, today, with the practice of today, we have um, six exercises. We have 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off of each one of those exercises. Um, in some of the exercise today, we're going to um, progress into one form of abdominal, uh, abdominal form, abdominal exercise that's a little bit harder than the previous one that we've done. So if you haven't done this one before, no problem, just follow along and, um, and you're gonna be fine, cool? Um, we're going to start the warm up. We're gonna start the workout with our dynamic warm up. And then I'm gonna take around five to seven minutes. And then after, from this on, we're going to go into each one of the exercises. It's only six exercises. Um, and then um, we're gonna go and do some stretches afterwards. Yeah. So doing the workout, doing the workout, the aim today is try to last for those 30 seconds, yeah? There is one more thing that I would like for you to try today, is just try to breathe through your nose all the way through the workout, cool? So let's start the warm up. So the warm up, you're gonna start pointing your feet up. So point your feet up and roll, point and row, point, row, point, row, row. And then same thing backward. So find the floor behind you and then shift your weight. Find the floor behind you, shift your weight, find the floor, shift your weight. Nice, now from here, feet sideways, feet sideways, walk forward. Walk backward. Nice. Hurdle skips. So go knee out. Keep close. And from here, go backward. Up, back down. You're gonna kick up and land, kick up and land. Now it's gonna bring one leg back and so if you're gonna kick a ball and then release, land, leg back, kick. Nice. We're gonna do a big lunge now. Let one more participant join in. Yay. So for here, big lunge forward. Yeah. Both arms above your head, reach up, cross, and then stand up. Same thing the other side, big step forward. Lean forward up, cross. Good, one more. Cross down, nice. Big step back, now going back. Push the hip forward a bit. Nice, arms overhead. And then lunge backward, other side. Of your head and then lunge backward. So, so now we're gonna go for the horse walking. So, we're gonna have feet apart. Yeah, first one, just gonna point up, right leg, both foot flat, same thing the other side. One more time, get low, pointing up, low, other side. 
first. Close to the ground, step, and then shift your weight. Step, shift. Nice. Step, shift. Shift. Same thing going backwards, so step, shift to the weight, shift, shift, shift to the weight. Awesome, go. Now we're gonna do from that same position where you're doing the, the, the horse with the legs wide and feet pointing out, we go for the frog. So I'm gonna go feet pointing out to go for the frog. Squat down, hands on the ground, walk forward. Step one. Step two. Back in nice and straight, arms overhead. Both your hands on the ground. Step back one. Step back two. Walk backward. Squat down, look forward, then come up. Nice to do one more time. Squat down, arms front of you, walk forward, change the leg, drop your hips down, two, and arms overhead, nice, and backward, both your hands on the ground, step back one, step back two, and come back, arms overhead. Awesome. So now from here, what we're gonna do, you're gonna bring your shoulder blades back together, push the floor away from yourself. So you're gonna go on the ground and do a tabletop. So go one hand, other hand, push the chest up, squeeze your glutes, push your hips up. Nice, hips low, and we walk forward. Yeah. Nice. We go backward. Keep pushing the hips up. Nice. And last one, we go for the tiger crawling. So go knees close to the ground. Try not to let your, your hips move. So instead of swinging the hips to the right, to the left, stabilize there. Get your abs on fire. Knees close to the ground. There we go. Nice. Awesome. So workout of today, hope you guys are warmed up now. Uh, workout of today, it's a great workout. Um, The name, the name of the workout in English, in Portuguese it means knife, and in English the same word we say faca. So if you say this to someone in English, maybe someone look at you a bit funny. I know, I know, I know. So faca is it means knife in Portuguese, um, and uh, come from um, come from capoeira actually come before that because the slaves had to cut the sugar cane using their knives, their machetes. So um, that's where the, the workout come, came from. So uh, anyway, so let's do this. So first exercise today we have Jinga. So Jinga, it's um, it actually is kind of like, we talk a bit about like the way of how each person moves. So it's quite, it's quite uh, unique. Each person moves different. So, um, so with Jinga, how are we gonna do? We're gonna go. So we have first foot one parallel to the other one. We kind of relax, and then we're gonna step ourselves to the right. So step, and then shift your weight. Yeah, and then from here, from here, we're gonna step back. So I step right. Yeah my right leg and then my left leg gonna go right behind touching the ground yeah kind of like a lunge yeah 
Then I have the leg that went back, in my case, it's my left. I have my right arm on top, yeah? And of course, the closer you are to the ground, the harder it is for someone to, to hit you, and it's harder for your balance as well, yeah? So then we're gonna shift the weight to the left. My arm is still the same. I shift the weight, step back, and then I change my arms, yeah? So as you step back, you change your arms. Good, yeah? We're just gonna lean back a little bit. Lean back a little bit, so feel the weight on your back leg. Come forward, step to the side, shift your weight, shift it back, forward, back. Yeah, go. Cool. Jinga, easy, easy peasy, yeah? Awesome. If you have the arms very low when you're doing that, if you'd be playing capoeira with someone, it means that you trust the other person or you're teasing the other person very much because your arm is not really protect your face. So it won't do much good for you. So you actually wanna try to keep this arm up. Yeah? This is our sharpest bone we have on our body. So people are not gonna try to hit you there because it's gonna, it can hurt them, cool? So just when you do the jinga, just keep the arm up a little bit. Yes. Awesome. Very good. You guys got it. Nice. So that's the first one, jinga. Yeah. The second exercise, it's a windmill. So windmill, we're going to go on the ground. Yeah. We've done this one over here a few times. So going to a plank, I'm going to step in. So I'm going to twist my pelvis, fit, and push my hips up. Yeah, both arms on the same line, and then I come back. Yeah, same thing on the other side, step, hips up. Come back, other side, hips up. Yeah, come back, other side, hips up. Yeah. Cool. So just remember to both of your arms be on the same line and you're from the bottom one, you push yourself away from the ground and the other one, you try to reach the ceiling. Push the hips up. Cool. That's option number one. Option number two, if you can do that, you're gonna bend one arm, bend one leg, sorry. So if I go over here, yeah. Both knees on the ground, top leg come up, bottom one down on the ground, push up there. Go. And then the transition, I'm gonna go both knees on the ground, both knees on the ground, transition. Same thing on the other side, push the hips up. Yeah, but see one of my knees on the ground, the internal knee. Yeah. Option number one, option number two, that for you. Okay. Now third movement, um, it's a bit more of a challenge. We do a back bend, yeah? So we see where we at today. So I'll give you a couple of options there for you. So option number one, we're gonna take a seat. We're gonna lift up the hips like a glute bridge and gonna push your knees that way. So first I push my hips up, squeeze my glutes, push my knee that way. Then from here, hands on the ground. Yeah, if your option number one is very hard for you, just go push your hips up, one hand beside of your ears, the other hand beside of your ears. Try to get the flexibility through your legs, yeah, to do this movement, and wrist as well. So if you can't pull it, if you can't do the press, great. If you can't, just lift up your hips, hands beside your figure or as close to it as you can. Remember, you're not going straight up. You're going with the knee forward first and then you come up. So you have quite a bit of weight on your lower body. So try it out there. Yeah, cool, awesome, awesome. 
That's it. Nice. Yeah, tricky, eh? No, no. Yes, the hands. If your arms are bent, it's fine. Yeah, you want to try it in the future, if you can do the movement, um, you want to try to open up and stretch those the arms. Yeah. So really try to stretch back when you're doing that. Cool. So you have Jenga, windmill, back bend. Then after, we're going to take a seat. We have a frog seat. So you're going to have both feet together like this. Yeah. You're going to use your arms to touch your feet. So you're going to go back, arms over the head, push with your arms. Oh, touch that. Go back, push with the arms, touch. Go like a sit up. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Go. If that's very hard for you to do like that, you cannot do the legs or have your legs further out. That will make it easier. Okay. Cool. Harder, closer to you, easier, further out. Now the following one, we have the V seat. So now, now we get the abs on fire. So you're gonna lift up both of your legs and then upper body, you're gonna try to reach there. Yeah. So now lift up your legs. Touch. Yeah. So option number one, you're going to try to do both of the same time and that's pretty hard to do. Option number two, you're going to lift up your legs first and then try to reach with your arms. Yeah. Option number three, you're going to just keep your legs up and try to reach your toes. Option number three is just like this. Toes reach. Okay. Option number one, harder, yeah? So you have to lift up your legs and try to close at the same time, that's harder. Okay, now last one out of the six. So I had Jenga, windmill, back bend, frog seat, V seat, and now one that you guys haven't done before. So it's called L seat, like the letter L. So L seat, the tough one. You're gonna go both, both legs, hands beside your feet. You're gonna pull that belly button in, curve your back, and try to take your legs off the ground. Yeah? So from here. <laughs> so if that's very, very, very hard, the option number two of it. You're gonna do the same thing, but you're only gonna take one leg off the ground. So one of your heels gonna stay on the ground. Very important to pull belly button wing, arch your back. Oh, yeah. There is another thing as well that makes the exercise easier. If you have the whole body passing your, so you see the position of my hand, yeah? If I have my body forward over here, gonna be hard. So you actually wanna to try to transfer the weight back a little bit like this. Yeah. <laughs> hard, hard. Hard on the abs, hard on the wrist. If it's hard on the wrist, then you can have a little, a little play there, a little stretch. Yeah, pull each one of your fingers back. Cool. So Jenga, windmill, back bend, frog seat, V seat, L seat. So today is not about the number of repetitions that you can fit in in those 30 seconds. It's just try to stay on those 30 seconds, doing those exercises, last all the way to the end, cool? And do them very well. Do the transition very smooth, okay? Okay, team. So I'll give you guys three seconds, yeah? To start, have a sip of water if you need the one. Like I just did. Oh, three, two, one. Let's do this. First one, Jinga.
Nice. So that's it. Have a play with it. See if you can go lower. What does it happen to your balance? Can you stay low? Can you keep moving the arms? Can you step back? Do you have to stay upright where your arms are at? Three, two, one. Nice. Good stuff. 30 seconds off. That's it. Start quite easy. I'm going to try to aim to do four rounds. Yeah. So second one, now we're going to go for the windmill. Nice. Another 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Step in. And time. Nice. Good stuff. Get ready now for your back bend. Nice. So remember, if you want to open up a little bit more from your lats, just go bend yourself sideways there. And the same thing the other side. Step sideways, reach up the arm. Just give a little stretch. Let's go. Back then. 30 seconds. And time. Nice. Give me the thumbs up if it was, if you could do this one today. <laughs> I got some thumbs up, some thumbs down. <laughs> awesome. Nice. We go now for the frog seat. Nice. It's only 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. And time. Nice. Good stuff. When we do the back bend, we stretch up the abs as well. So now for these three exercises in a row of abs, the abs are going to feel a bit tight. So almost if we use the back bend as your active recovery. Yeah. So you go for the V-seat now, yeah? Let's go, let's go. Legs up. And time. Nice work, nice work. Good stuff. Nice, how you finding? Nice, another 15 seconds and go for the L seat. Nice, on your marks. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. If you can take both feet off the ground.
Hang in there, team. Let's go. 30 seconds. Another 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and time. Woo, really tough. Try to hold this pose for 30 seconds. Really, really tough. Definitely gotta work on it. I have to. So we stand up, getting ready for the jinga now. One round done, three to go. Nice, stay close to the ground. Work out your legs. Three, two, one. Step on the side, shift. Step on the side, shift your weight. Nice. Just be careful not to turn your body too much. We'll try to keep both of your shoulders on the same line. Nice. Nice one. That's it. Work out those legs. Stay low. Three, two, one, and time. Nice. Well done. Well done. Nice. Go to the floor. Get ready for the windmill. Another 10 seconds. Nice, three, two, one, let's do it. And time. If if the um, if the back bend is very hard exercise for you, use the jinga as your active recovery. Yeah, so you still can make effort doing the back bend, and then when it comes to jinga, you chill out. Nice one. Keep breathing through your nose. Yeah, and just slowing down the pace. Go cool? use that as your recovery. So let's go. Back bend, three, two, one, let's do this. Remember, you're pushing the hips forward first, squeeze your glutes. And time. Nice. We still have another 20 seconds to go. Recovery. Go for those frog seats. Get the abs on fire. Push with the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do this. Arms reaching up. Three seconds to go, two, one, and time. Nice. Good stuff. Now we go for the visit. The other tip with the visit, you want to try to keep your lower back, pull belly button in the lower back against the ground as long as you can. Okay? Yeah, protect your lower back, keep pulling belly button in. Three, two, one, let's go. You stop the legs.
three, two, one, and time. Nice. Good stuff. Now we get ready for the L sit. Nice. Push yourself in. Like when we do the cat and camel. Yeah. The same movement. Let's go. Stretch your legs. Let's go. Nice, so pull belly button in. Let's go, let's go, team. And time. Nice. Whew. Go, go back to the Jenga. Two sets done, two to go. Yeah, it's a tough one, eh? <laughs> Nice, get ready for your jinga. Nice, four, three, two, one, let's go. time nice what's up very good you guys looking great so go now for the windmill four three two one, let's go. And time. Nice one, nice one, team. Good stuff. Nice. Good to know the back bend. If you find the floor, the surface where you're doing is slippery, um, just hang in there. My surface over here is quite slippery to do that, but you just adjust of, for what you have. Yeah. <laughs> you can have the arms bent if you like. Let's go. Yeah, 30 seconds. Let's do this, team. And time. I think we pass a little bit to the time of this one. <laughs> nice. So get ready now. Get ready for a front seat. Another five seconds rest. Three, two, one. Let's go. Front seat. Stay back there. Push with both arms. Nice one. Touch your feet. Keep pulling belly button in. Thank you. 
And time. Nice. Awesome. No push-ups, no burpees today, yeah? That must be loving this. <laughs> Great. So um, we do enough for the visit. Try to find your time. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back there. Three, two, one, and time. Whew. If you feel a little bit tight through your abs, just do a cobra. So just lie down here, both your hands back. Stretch up the abs a little bit before we go for the L-sit. Nice, we have another five seconds. Four, three. Two, one, let's go. L sit. And time. Oof. Nice work, team. Fourth round. Last round. Show me what you got. Let's go, Jinga. Try not to jump. Keep your feet close to the ground. Nice. Move fast and knees close to the ground, feet close to the ground. Hips low. Three seconds to go. And time. Nice. Good stuff. I should go now for the windmill. Another 10 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one. And time. Nice one, team. Good staff. Last round. Four more exercises to go. Go for the back bend now. Remember, we're doing the, the lift, squeezing your glutes. Yeah. Keep pushing the hips up. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go.
and Todd. Nice. Awesome. Nice. The next round now. Next exercise, you go for the front seat. Use that as your recovery. We still have two hard ones to go. So front seat, three, two, one. Let's do this. And time. Nice. Yeah, if you find it hard because of the flexibility through your groin to do that, it's fine to have the legs out a little bit more. Then if you guys feel it on your back, lower back, anyone? Yeah. Okay. So just be mindful of this two now, yeah? This seat, let your leg come up first and then the upper body reach. Let's go. Three, two, one, it's on. The upper body reach. Yeah? Nice. And time. Ooh. Nice one. Last one now. L sit. If you have shorter arms, yeah, then then your legs. You have short wingspan. You can have two blocks or two dumbbells to help you out to do that. So just a little bit close to the ground, a bit higher above the ground. Let's go. Hello, sit. It's on. Last round, last exercise. Go. And time. Oof. Nice one, team. So, uh, well done, well done. We're going to strengthen. And then after, uh, open the mic. If you guys have any question, just let me know. Cool. So let's do this. So you stretch it out. Start with the cobra. So go chest on the ground. Hands by your chest. Feet together or separate, depending how tight you are. Extend the arm first. Big inhale. Looking up. Extend the pose. Again, big inhale, the same pose. And all the way down. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. Squeeze your glutes. Try to arch backward. Squeeze your glutes. Big inhale, big exhale, come back down. Nice. Good from here. Now you're gonna be lying down your back. Bend the right leg. Your feet are gonna be resting on the left knee. Lift up the left knee. Hang it through the hands through the gap. Yeah, one hand through the gap. And I try to pull my left knee close to my chest. Hip opener should be feeding on your glutes, right glutes. And let it go. Nice and feeling the other side. Left foot, top of the right knee. 
Left hand through the gap. Top of the knee. Right hand over. And pull right knee close to your chest. Nice. And let it go. Nice. Very good. Now you're going to go right leg up, straight, hold behind the knee, and bring it a little bit closer to your body. Try to push your heels up, heel up, stretch that leg. If you need to undo a little bit, so not so close to your chest, that's fine too. Nice. And let it go. Left leg, stretch the left. Hands beside of the left knee. Push your heels up. Keep pushing. Heel, 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 heel. And let it go. Awesome. So here now you're going to bring the right leg back. I'll do the left so you can see better. So feet back. Right leg stays straight. Yeah. And then I'm going to rest on my right elbow. If you already feel that plank of stretch, don't go with the left elbow. If you don't, go left elbow. Okay? Nice. If you find it's comfortable enough, see if you can lie down on the ground. Nice. Roll on your side. Roll towards your right. Whole body close to the ground. Nice, and upper body on top of your right leg that was straight before. Same thing on the left. Left leg at the front, right one at the back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Bend the left elbow. Right elbow. Slowly. You'll be feeling plates on your quads. And on your side, roll close to the ground. And on top of that leg. Nice. Go up like 90 degrees. Left leg, nice with the right. Move your hands behind your back, chest up. And we're gonna pivot, so lift up, hips. Lift up your knee, other side, again, other side, awesome, good, in front of here, both the knees, good step forward, left leg, push the hip forward there, nice stretch your hip flexors, thumbs up your head, Make like a C shape with your hand, palm of your hand, C, reach, reach in the elbow, stay as upright as you can. Nice. Both arms up, hands down by your side. You change your legs, push the hips forward, arms up. Reaching up, left elbow with the right hand. Bring that elbow back. Stay upright. Now from here, slowly bend yourself sideways. Nice, arms to the side. Good, and stand up. Nice, both arms above your head. Hands to your heart, thank you. So just gonna ask a question before we finish over here. Thank you. Um, just wanna ask you, if you guys did you find it that was easy or hard to stay? Just put the thumbs up or down, yeah? If it was easy, thumbs up, first. Harder point, point, thumb down. If it was easy to breathe through your nose all the way through everything. Okay, cool. Easy, 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 hard, hard. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Um, 